Welcome to the most must listen to show on the internet. Welcome to AEG. I'm your host, JB, and again, I just have Marlon. Hey, guys, how you doing? And that's my phone. He's <laughs> <laughs> uh, the host with the most class now, so I'll tell you that. Uh. But, uh, yeah. What's, what's, uh, yeah, we don't have a goose, and we yeah. all know Dalton, because Dalton's still working, and Goose, I think, is just probably exhausted. Yeah. Um, the guy has barely talked in the group chat, in both group chats that I have. With. Right. I mean, he's he's busy, man. It sounds like he is very, very busy. I, I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, the poor guy has been dealing with a lot of things up in New York, so uh, I wish him the best, so I can say. <laughs> right. But, um... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep this episode short and sweet. Uh, we didn't get to one uh, late last week, so we figured we would give you a short one since I've been playing a bit of the Black Ops Four multiplayer beta. Nice. Um, same here, but uh, I want to hear your thoughts about it. Um, okay. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I think that's pretty much the the but just for a lot of fucking people. The reason I say it is. It's not bad. I want to I want to start by saying I it, I don't dislike it. But it's the same Call of Duty that I've played for quite a while now. Would you say that it's it's, it's it gives you that more of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 than anything else? Um yes, it's got it's got tinges of 3 and it's got tinges of 2 actually Black Ops 2. Mm-hmm. Um in there. I mean I, I like that it's boots on the ground. Mm-hmm. Um, that definitely you know is a is a check mark in the in the good category for me. Okay. Um, I, I don't know if it's because I suck at it, because I'm not okay. good at all. It, um, it, it's, it, it's even if you suck at a game, you can still comprehensively review it and check out to see if it's worth right. playing I mean, or not. I I still there are still things that I like. Um, that I, there's still, like, there is still fun that I have had with it. Um, I'm not very good at it, but I was, I was holding my own. I'm, I'm like a, a average mm-hmm. to below average Call of Duty player. You know, okay. I was doing pretty, like, some of the matches I did really well, depending on which weapons I was using, and then, you know, everybody, what I was reading on the beta, everybody was saying that the SMGs were very, very overpowered. Um, I mostly used, uh, it was a creative, it was a, pre-made class it used a, a, a I didn't know if it was an assault rifle or a submachine called called the swordfish okay um but that's the weapon i mainly stuck to uh, that's the it, it was it's a it's a it reminds me of a pulse rifle and i'm pretty decent with pulse rifles in destiny mm-hmm. so it kind of gave me that vibe a little bit so i could kind of wrap my head around it more cuz i used to be really terrible with three round burst weapons like i had to have an automatic and just spray and pray basically yeah <laughs> um, but I was playing a lot of Destiny PvP. Um, I I started with the you know the pulse rifles and the three round burst weapons, and I I definitely like it um, more now. But yeah, I I tried some team deathmatch, and I think that that's where I had the least amount of fun when the only sole purpose is getting kills, because I'm not that good at getting kills. That's probably the weakest part of my game. Uh, with Call of Duty, so I actually stuck to, uh, it was Mosh Pit, but it was, it flipped between gotcha. Hardpoint and Domination. Alright, so you stick to basically just, uh, uh Objectives. Objective-oriented, uh, yes. you know, panels and stuff like that. Um, I, I agree with you with that, you know, at, at least, uh, the game feels like more of the same to me. Okay? Which is not necessarily not a, a good thing or bad yeah, thing. Yeah, that's it's not just, a bad thing. It's just, you know, more of the same. But you know, I did have a couple of problems with with the game. One, like you say, a lot of the submachine guns are basically like just running rampant in the game. Uh the Which MX9 already, like Treyarch has already came out and said like we're fixing it. The, the MX nine for me was like, bro, it's it's this is not it's not OP. It's just one of the it's better like, ones. Yeah, out like there. if it's if it's mod, like if you put enough attachments on it, because like if it's just standard, like it's not, it's good, but it's not that good. But if you have the right set of attachments and modifications to it, like you can wreck shop with it. Yeah, with advanced mags and high caliber attachments, basically it just goes nuts. And 
Sorry about that. Uh, yeah. Apparently, you got. Do you have a drone flying around in your house? Uh, yeah, it's it's basically a lot of the drones are outside. It's just. You see, I live in Guantanamo Bay, so <laughs> it's, it's 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 what's happening is that a lot of people are trying to kill me. Cause let's face it, it's it's. Uh, uh, sorry about that. It's, no, it's you're much good. I can um, do that. I'll, I'll keep going with my thoughts. Maybe it'll, you know, you can beat yourself. Yeah, it'll go for it. Um. So yeah, I mostly just played, uh, you know, different uh, objective bo- mi- bi- uh, objective based modes, um. And I really, I liked it. I mean, I played, I got, I only got to level 5. I saw Goose, he's played more of it than I have, it seems like. He's level, like, I think 19? Yeah, I saw him play and I go, oh, man, the guy must be just, like, completely into the freaking beta. beta well, because, I mean, I, I mean, think he, he, he still, he was very unsure, and I still also am, of a day one purchase. Like, he was, he was all in when they first announced it. And yeah, then when he found out about the season pass or, you know, Black Ops pass or whatever they're calling it this year, he was yeah, kinda, he retracted his purchase because he doesn't, didn't like the business model, which I honestly can't say that I blame him at all. Um, and then he decided to, uh, I think, you know, play a bunch of the beta to see how it goes. Yeah. It, it's the reason why I like betas nowadays is because if the game because for the most part, betas is basically the game almost, almost completed. Game. It's just missing a little polishes here and there. Right. I mean, yeah. Like, that. I could tell, like, it looked good, but there was still some polish that could be done on the graphics. Like, it looked kind of washed out. Yeah. Um, uh, and obviously, there were there were, there were a lot of, like, fixes, like bugs and, and spawning errors. And, like, obviously, the OP of armor and submachine guns. And stuff like that. Like there are definitely kinks to be worked out, and that's why companies like this have, you know, these betas. Um, but it's funny. Like after playing this, I'm actually more interested in the next beta that they do, mm-hmm. which is the Blackout beta for the new battle royale mode. And I know. See, that's that's the thing. Like from looking for the that's perspective. Good, I would might be able to justify buying this game just for the battle just royale. for the ba- that, but I don't like. They showed a teaser in the beta trailer they put out, you know, uh, this past week, mm-hmm. um, prior yeah. to the the beta starting, and they teased it and they showed some stuff in like vehicles and like snipers and like squads and stuff like that. Like it all, they could hit all the right things. Like, it's funny, as much as. Battle Royale has kind of infested everything now. Like Siva. <sighs> what? So, uh, it's a Destiny joke. Uh, don't uh, worry about it. <laughs> yes, like, oh, uh, like Siva. Yes, like Siva. I, I missed what you uh, said, but now I understand it. Um, um, but, yeah, it's 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 nothing wrong with Battle Royale. It's just that if it's done well, I, I can see people playing a lot of right. time with like, it. Like, I like Fortnite, mm-hmm. but... I don't like the gameplay style. Gotcha. I, I like first person. I like having a familiarity. Like that's why I like PUBG a little bit more than Fortnite. As good as 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 much as I, I do like Fortnite, I don't understand people's obsession with it, but I still that, like it. Okay. So if if Call of Duty let okay, let's let's put this into the table. The weapons Feel some weapons feel wonky, some some weapons feel really really tight on the hand, and it feels wonderful with them. The problem that I have is that let's say for example, let's take the MX9 right now, okay? Yes. With the attachment, with the attachments, it's basically like the most it's an assault decent. Rifle. It's probably the best weapon that you can get in the game right now. now I mean, as of the beta, yes, because uh, the they've beta. already said they're gonna fix it. So but let's as take, of right now, take, yes. Yeah. As of right now, the beta. Let's take the MX9 for example. Let's say that we see the battle royale mode with the same beta, you know, mechanics right now. It's gonna be a. F- it's just it's gonna be an infestation of just MX9 all over the place, and it's not that I don't like when things like that happen. It's just that it gets monotonous for me. So. I understand metas, and I understand, you know, there's, you have to go in, in competitive and PvP with a certain mindset about it. And I like 
oh, how can I put it in, 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 into words? It's I like when you have the ability to choose any weapon and you can do go with it. I right. don't like it when you're supposed to basically just shoehorn yourself into playing with a certain gun. Yeah, or certain like playstyle. I stick, like I said, I stick to mostly just the assault rifle classes, even when I play anyway. You know, I was seeing the, the first couple matches that I played uh, Friday night when the beta started. People were mo a lot of people were using snipers and just blowing me away. And then I'm like, oh, should I use a sniper class? So I picked the sniper class. And I'm like, okay, I'm not good with this. Like, yeah. this person may be phenomenal with it, but for me, it, it doesn't click with you. It doesn't work exactly. You know. So another uh, another thing that I saw in the beta that people were complaining about, which I didn't have a problem with, was the time to kill. Uh, coming from a very, very slow time to kill in Destiny. And just for me, this was perfect for the time to kill. A lot of people were saying, "Oh, it's too slow. It it doesn't oh, feel right. It it's it's because they're so used to a particular time to kill in Call of Duty games." Yeah, which, Call of Duty time to kill can be two seconds or half a one second. One second, one shot, one kill. For God's sake. Uh, uh, so for me, coming into the into the beta, for me, I have no problems with that. I understand people complaining I about say, it. But... I personally loved it yeah because, because it... i feel now like like i said playing destiny i mean granted the destiny time to kill is mu is still much longer yeah um but it's it's more akin to a you know to like a battlefield because again yeah. battlefield too like unless you're a, a really good sniper like the time to kill can be very long as well so i have no issues with that i also yeah. had no issues with i actually it, like I, said, I enjoyed with... that part more than yeah, then I, I had no other issues with the specialist because the thing that made me laugh the most was when people were complaining about, oh, oh my God, you like, uh, you you only charge your special and that's it, and you kill like three guys. I'm like, have you played any like, like for me it was it was funny because the guy was complaining about, well, the guy was reviewing the, the the beta was complaining about the specialist classes and how the special just basically just are one and you basically take on an entire team or how can uh, one specific um, special like, and you can kill them through walls and I'm like well, you know it, it's it's part of the game just adapt to it and just enjoy it. it's not overpower it's not like oh my god he just like took me out so quickly you know, if you come from a game like Destiny or Destiny 2 you know that super sword like that you know it, it gives the ability of somebody who's not really good at the game to be able to contribute into the match and be able to turn the tide around I have no problem with that I have problems with the main menu I have problems with that stupid uh, cursor that they put into the game yeah they I'm definitely like, copied that didn't they yeah I'm like you like why I already sick enough of it in that bullshit of fucking Destiny with that shit. You're gonna put that same crap in fucking Call of Duty. I'm like, come on, give me out in break, bro. The main menus were like, ah, I just want to use my D-pad and move around, go that back. Yeah, and forth, like, like they did that. say that that's something that they're gonna look to fixing. So for me, I had issues with that. Yeah, uh, which that overall though, the you know it doesn't really contribute to the gameplay of it. Exactly, it's just little nitpicks that I had that just make right. me go. Ah. Which I understand. But for the for the most part, you know, like you said, it was you know, it was like tinges of Black Ops three, tinges of Black Ops two, a little bit of advanced co advanced warfare when it comes to like just like the the, uh, the sliding mechanics and stuff like that. So more of the same, but at the end of the day, it, I'm, it, I'm, it was decent. I guess know? I guess I'll put it this way: I'm interested to see what the blackout beta looks like. Mm-hmm. And that will kind of sway me, because, like, if it was only this, I probably wouldn't pick it up day one. I probably wouldn't spend money on it, regardless, because for me... Yeah, it'd be one of those things where, like, oh, Blackout, oh, but Call of Duty's, you know, 40 bucks, 30 bucks on sale during Black I'll Friday, I might pick it up then. But if Blackout's good, there's a possibility I would buy it on day one. Which is understandable if you like that kind of sort of gameplay, like you said... Yeah. It has to hit the right notes for you to enjoy it. Right. If it doesn't hit the right notes when the beta comes out, and you and you look at it and you go, "Yeah, this is this is just not for me." Then you know you just save yourself a couple of twenty, thirty bucks, maybe even more, depending on when you wanted to buy it or if you wanted to buy it. Um. 
maps looked, for the most part, okay. Yeah, most of them were lo like cool looking. Yeah, the, some maps just didn't feel right because it's it kind of felt like they had like the momentum for Black Ops Three, but it didn't feel that way. Cause I don't know, there was one map in particular that whenever I played it, it was just the spawn points were so weird. And wonky well, the that... spawn, spawn points on that game are already super broken. Even though that's I. I don't understand. They literally have a, an issue with spawn points every single year. Yeah. It's, like, why look, not fix them? If you got two teams that are already, you know, pretty much dominating one area of the map, don't put them in the middle of the fucking map because you're going to get fucking killed. Right. I, I, every year it's the same bullshit. Oh, oh, your team is dominating, you know, this points right here, A and B. Oh, no, let's put you in the fucking middle of there. Let's see if you can fucking get out of there, you know, and you're like, so you basically get a spawn kill, and then you wake up, and then you wake up, and then you respawn, and then you get fucking spawn kill again, and then you respawn, and then you get spawn kill again, and you're like, great, I just gave them three lies, right? Like and like, that was one of my main, my main gripes with the, with the beta. Um, I mean, I understand that it's uh, a Call of Duty, and I understand that Treyarch has said that they're gonna address some of the issues. I don't know if they're going to address them soon enough that it will overall change we my won't, Yeah, opinion. I don't think we'll see those changes in the beta unless they change them this weekend. And mm -hmm. when the beta opens back up next weekend, we see that. Because I'm not... I, I Normally after I'm done with a beta, I usually delete it off my hard drive. But I'm going to hang <laughs> on to this because I know there's a second... There's a second wave. I don't know. Yeah, I believe yeah. it's opening up for PS4 again, as well mm -hmm. as Xbox One and PC next weekend. So we'll, we'll see. You know, I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that they're able to make those switches, but I doubt it. What What do you thought about the specialist classes? Like, was there anything um, in particular? There weren't any, doing? honestly, that really stood out to me. Mm -hmm. uh, it was. It, it... I played. I played. I think it's Nomad. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I like the Nomad. Uh, uh, even if people with, have... Yeah, the one with the dog. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I also played Prophet a lot, the one that had the uh, Seeker Shock Mine. Mm-hmm. I played that. Those were the two that I stuck to most. I honestly like Prophet quite a bit, because I liked his specialist weapon, which was like a, a, it's like a sniper rifle, but with like a shock like, mm -hmm. component like it. to it. It was pretty cool, but... Uh, it's yeah. I mean, it's it's, it, it's an interesting take it, on the whole Black Ops thing, but right. I mean, I can see they're tr they're trying to put their own spin on other people's ideas. I guess yeah. I I, I don't want to get that derivative, but that's what I mean, it feels like. Yeah, exactly what it feels like. It feels like Rainbow Six. It feels like yeah. Overwatch. With, yeah. Even with the there's like a new mode. Where it's like an escort kind of thing, similar to Overwatch. Like it's just. It's very. They're trying to take cues, but then put a Call of Duty spin on it, which is fine. It, which is, I mean, if it works for you guys, then go for it. But it shouldn't be too much on the nose, which is right. for me exactly. And so, but so at the end of the day, uh, it's it's still Call of Duty at its core. It is still feels and plays like Call of Duty, um, and and we will we will see. I mean, if if you like Call of Duty do. since you know the past ten years, then you're gonna like. Like this more because it's just more of the same, which with a different spin on it in certain areas. Which I don't know if it it's it warrants enough to pay sixty bucks for it. That's what I'm saying, call. man. Like I'm I'm not not a hundred percent sure yet. I I want to see what blackout mode looks like. So we'll go but, from that. Uh, but yeah, that, so that's my thoughts on Black Ops. Um, have you played anything else this week? Um, well, besides the bed, uh. Destiny 2 finally got the Sources of Heroes. Which we armor. played Destiny 2. <sighs> let's just let's just say that um, Lee, you suck. Yeah, okay, that's Lee. all I can tell you. You suck. In yeah, more ways yuck. than one. Stop yucking. <laughs> Jeff is like, yeah, like no man, the entire freaking. Uh, anyways, I'm not even gonna get into it. Uh, yeah. But no, um, yeah, we played we played Hero. some Destiny last Monday. Mm -hmm. Um, we you 
helped me run uh, some heroic strikes because I wanted was... to get my stuff for that. Um, but yeah, and um, you, you, your daughter had some. Um, what was it? Um, and it's just just a crisis when it comes to sharing. Um, oh yeah, uh, yeah, she was. Yeah, she was just <laughs> mad. For some reason, well, you know, kids will be kids. Well, she got but, new toys, and she didn't want to. She wanted to. Yeah. It's like you with share a, them, a, new, so. a new console. It's like you and Dalton with a new console. You guys want to share. You guys want to play it and just enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, this this guy over here buying two PS4s. I don't know what you fucking talking about. <laughs> uh, but I haven't told any of you guys that yet. Uh, no, it's 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 it's. it's... <laughs> that Spider that Spider Man PS4 is too damn pretty to pass up. Let me just tell you. I know, I know, I know. I well, I don't have. A, I mean, I bought the the Days of Play one, which is also beautiful. I I just bought it like a Couple month of months? ago. Yeah, and two months gonna, ago. And you're gonna go for the freaking PS Spider Man now? Get the I what God. what I'm doing? I'm I'm keeping both of them. I'm gonna put the the Days of Play one in my room as a DVD player, slash Blu-ray player. He's gonna use it as a DVD player. And then I'm getting the Pro to have in the living room. This is where we call you money bags. You gotta be to use a PS4. I don't want to do it, dude. But I could not help myself. <laughs> oh Lord Almighty, Jeff. Oh Lord. Okay. You know what? You know what? You know what? I have no problems with that. You know, it is your money. You are an adult. You can. Enjoy the best way that you can, as opposed to buying drugs, as opposed to getting smokes, as opposed to getting hard liquor. If you can spend the money and use it and not worry about it, go ahead and enjoy it with your place. Your base of plays DVD or PlayStation 4. Uh, but yeah, um, we played Destiny 2. You know, turn it hard back to, to, to the topic at hand. Um, we played Destiny 2. It was fun. We actually got you to yes. finish your heroic strikes uh, yes. for the week. For the week. Um, after that, you know, we ended up, uh, well, at least I ended up trying to uh, grind out the Sources of Heroes armor, which I mean, about, oh, I'll say, two hours ago that I finally got the legendary gear that it drops at 400. Yeah, I mean, I, I've, I've looked into going through I mean, I know the, the event is a month long. Like, it goes to, what, the 31st of this month? Uh, I 30th? believe it goes 28th, I believe. 28th. That's... I want to do it, but can you, can, do you have to solo everything? <sighs> okay. For most of it, you can solo it. Uh, at least well, no, on... I'm saying I, I would prefer not to solo it. <laughs> okay, so let me put it this way. For most of, to get to the Solstice of Heroes legendary armor that is 400, you can can do it by yourself. You can also do it with a group. You don't have to do any other raids. You don't have to do any of um like group of six people to do it. You can just do it with a group of three. Um, if you want to master work it, then you're gonna have to do the the raid. That that there's no ifs about it. Um, if you need help with the green armor and blue armor, I can help you out. My friends are also uh, running it. They're also trying to get their like, in their gear as well. Um, I mean, yeah, I would prefer to run those the because the missions the like the um the the new rework missions yeah, yeah you want to run with a group uh, they yeah. are not I wouldn't say they're not doable because I did them solo because you know I'm a masochistic asshole yeah um you and a lot of other people so I understand uh but. If you need help with the with the redux missions stuff like that, I can help you out. I have no problem with that. Uh, besides, you know, grinding my butt up in Destiny and and just having um. I mean, you don't. Yeah, I was gonna say you don't have to. Moments have when to it comes get to deep into the, the Solstice of Hero stuff. Like I, I kind of wanna have you wait, and you and I play that together, and maybe live stream it. Let, but I have no problems with that. I have absolutely no problems with that. I'm not gonna give you any spoilers of what the missions do. I'm just gonna say this. Yeah, I well, I've I mean I've played I played the um um what's it called? The first one? Yes. Uh, the, oh, the, the the first yeah, like the uh homecoming, the homecoming mission. Yes. Okay, so you already ran homecoming. Okay, no problem with yeah. that. Uh, that one wasn't that bad. 
Oh, no. No, no. It... The missions are not bad. They, are... they just, they do things to make it overly... I wouldn't say overly difficult. I'll just, just say that yeah, it, they, it, they... it just makes you play in a very different play style than you usually are. Right. Like, it's a, I heard it's a lot of, like, peeking around corners such. Yeah. <laughs> Using specific weapons. Uh, let me just tell you this. Let's run the missions, live stream it, and yeah. live stream your reactions towards them. And I'm just gonna sit back and I'm just gonna laugh the entire time. <laughs> what are uh, What are you doing? Uh, what about what, what are you doing Tuesday? I got no problems on Tuesday. So, okay, because I'm uh, off any, Tuesday, so and I don't have my daughter, so we can run them then. <laughs> so we'll we'll do that. We'll we'll, we'll have some fun. We'll, we'll yeah. if you need anything else, we we'll do that. Uh, besides Destiny 2, uh, what else did I do? Um, I haven't played... I've, I don't think I've really played anything else. <sighs> Which is weird for me, because I, I play a little bit of the... of I'm Monster Hunter World, what? and finally got Behemoth. <sighs> Wonderful. Because the way the Behemoth works in Monster Hunter World... Oh, yeah, because they, they added it, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, it's a collaboration with Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah, which, which is, is freaking awesome. Which is actually funny. The way that they, 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 they both collaborated with each other was that um, the creator of Monster Hunter World was coming into the elevator, and he met up with the creator of Final Fantasy XIV, uh, and they were like, I like your stuff, I love your stuff, let's get together! And that's how this whole thing came about. And Behemoth, it's a raid boss. You're supposed to go at it as a poor man group. And the way that the boss works when it comes to mechanics, it's wonderfully done. The problem with that is that people are idiots and they don't know how to fucking hide. So I have carded, I'm going to say I would have carded, but I have lost the mission probably 20 times already because people keep dying. Uh, and even though the game tells you, hey, listen, uh, just stand behind a rock, you know, and you will survive the blast. Nope, no, I'm going to be in the middle of the fucking map, just try to slash and hack at this guy, and don't realize that the guy's about to do a one-shot kill. Boom, we're done. Quest over. Restart again. And, but armor is freaking phenomenal. It's basically the Dragoon armor from Final Fantasy XIV. That's awesome. It, it's it's the most beautiful thing that you can <laughs> watch in Monster Hunter. Like the be, like the best looking armor in my taste. The entire game, the best perks that the I'm game saying, has. What, what's it? What armor is it called? It's the dragon armor uh, in Monster Hunter World. But if you go to Final Fantasy XIV, it is the dragoon armor. It is their uh, high class armor that you get for the dragoon um, uh, class. And it, it's so fucking pretty. And you can change the colors. You can. It's and not even. I'm not, not even get me started on the freaking insect wave because it's freaking badass. It's a freaking Gallic bulk. <sighs> so pretty. So if you if if you get the time and you actually can, if anybody that is listening to this, if, if you haven't done Behemoth, do yourself a favor. Go to Monster Hunter World, play that quest, get it, and. And I know that the quest makes you fight Kuluyaku, and, and I know that he's an asshole. I know that he's a Dude, stupid... that armor is sick. Trust me, I know. It's freaking phenomenal. And the way that the yeah, game... Yeah, I, I just looked it up on, on Google. <laughs> it, it's... And you can change the color. You can put it white, you can put it blue, you can put oh, it... Oh, that's too cool. It's... Basically, and they added an animation to the game that allows you to basically... Uh, bypass Behemoth's uh, ecliptic meteor, meteor. So if yeah. you time it correctly, the, the the animation allows you to high jump into the air as 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 the uh, dragoon system, no dragoon uh, class does in Final Fantasy uh, games, and, and you bypass the attack and you don't you don't get killed. And it's nice. the most badass way of just basically just saying to the monster, "Fuck you, you ain't getting me, motherfucker." That's I have awesome. done it a couple of times, and it, trust me, it's the, it's you get a rush going because if you don't time it correctly, you die. But it, the, but if you time it the way it's supposed to to do it, 
it's you go up into the air, you come down as if you were coming as a god, and the monster's like, "What? He didn't die? Oh shit!" <laughs> That's too cool. Uh, and but... other than that, just I don't know, play a little bit of Pokemon here and there. Um, yeah. Play a little bit of uh, not not play a little bit, watch a little bit of Octopath. Um, the more yeah. I see it, the more I just I I, I want to switch, but I just don't. I'm 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 still. I'm waiting for so, that. I'm still, I'm still waiting to play it. I'm I'm actually going on a trip, uh, in a couple weeks, and I'm not gonna have my PS4 with me, so I'm gonna take it and start it then. Take it, play it. It's it, it's a wonderful little game that you can just you know play a couple of hours, and when you're doing a commute, and it's the best yep. thing to do. I'm looking forward to it. So, but, and I want to hear your thoughts about it because I, yeah, I I know that definitely. I like it. I know that I, that, that I like the system. I just want to see what your takes on it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, um, I mean that's all I really had. We will we'll try to get that live stream up if if not Tuesday, definitely sometime this week. Hey, hey, hey. As long as we have some fun and I just see some more shenanigans from my friends and clanmates and, and people that, that that play this game, because man, right? It's it's yeah. Let me just let me just tell you this before we go, Jeff. Okay, go ahead. You don't realize how people suck in Crucible until I actually have to do a specific task on it. <laughs> yeah, let's just, let's just leave it like that. Cause... Yeah, we'll just that's that's a good place to. You don't know how much you suck till you have to do something specific. Yeah. Well, and, that's a good way to. That's a good. Yeah. yeah. I let's think that's a, yeah. That's good. It's a good place to end it. Well, thank you guys for listening. Um, we'll be back uh with, this week with some more AEG show. Um, hopefully Goose can be on Wednesday. Uh, we'll record that, and then we'll record some Destiny this week. Uh, show you guys off some of the Solstice of the Heroes stuff. So that's what it's called, right? Solstice of the Heroes. Yeah, right? Solstice of the Heroes. You know, okay. I, 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 yeah, <laughs> they, they come up with so, such weird names for that stuff. I, I, it's, I get it's supposed to be like this whole collaboration with the sun and the moon and the stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bloody, bloody, blah. It's, 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 it's annoying at one point. Um, right. So but, we'll uh, just take that. But yeah, but uh, thank you guys for listening, and we will see you later this week. Take care.